Hi, I'm Ryan. I really like using this sensor. It's the Atlas Scientific pH sensor, and we're gonna calibrate it today. The first thing we need to do is figure out what read mode our sensor is in. It can either be UART or I squared C, and to calibrate, it has to be in UART. Then we're gonna calibrate pH seven, then four, then 10, and it also has to be in this order. And for each of our calibrations, here are the steps we're gonna follow. First, we clean the sensor. Then we're gonna pour the calibration solution into a new cup. Stir to remove the bubbles, put our probe in and let it sit for a minute or two. And then these are the commands we have to enter. So Cal mid seven, then Cal low four, then Cal high 10. Now I'm using the isolated carrier board, but you don't need to because I'm gonna read off the pins that we're gonna be using. All you need to do is take an Arduino and I'm gonna plug red into VCC and you can use either three volts or five. I've plugged into 3.3 and now take black, plug it into ground and plug that into ground. If you see a very bright blue light, that means you're in I squared C mode and you have to go over to UART. I have a link in the description below for a quick video how to switch modes. If you see green or teal, bluish green, then you're in UART mode and that's the mode we need to be in. So there's two more wires to hook up. I'll put yellow into TX and green into RX. Then yellow takes pin two, green takes pin three. And now we're done. The next thing I'm going to do is open up some Arduino code. The link is in the description below for this. It's called PHUART, and we're going to upload it and run. Now we'll go to Tools, Serial Monitor, and there we go. We can see it's reading out now. Now we're ready to take the sensor itself and calibrate. I have a glass of water to clean off the sensor. I have another glass to pour the solution into, and it's time to go with PH7. Swirl it around. It, that is really not much. Let's switch that out for a smaller shot glass and let it sit for a minute. Okay, it looks pretty stable now, so I'm gonna give it the command cal comma mid comma seven. I'll make sure I have carriage return set and 9600 baud, and I'll send that. Okay, it got it, and now it sees everything there is seven. So I'm gonna take my water, put it in there, and I'll be back cleaning this out. All right, that's clean and dry. For the next ones, I'm wearing gloves. Okay, next up is pH four. Swirl it around to get bubbles out, and while that waits for two minutes, I'm gonna go change my water. Okay, this has really settled down nicely, so I'm gonna put in the command cal comma low comma four and send. Okay, now everything from here on is 4.0, so I'll take the probe out, put it in water, and when I come back, we'll do 10. All right, glass is ready. That's yeah, really cool. Shake it off once more. Stir and we'll let it sit. Okay, this one did it fastest of all. It's time to write cal comma high comma 10 and send. And now it knows this to be 10.0 pH and that's it for calibration. So I'll take this out, wash it off. There we go, we're done. So that's all it took. The tutorial actually said it would take one to two minutes, but for me, they took five, five and three. So it's like a 15 minute process and now I'm ready to actually use this sensor. I hope this helped. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I respond to them all. Thank you.